Hey guys, this is Benjamilian welcoming you to Let's Play Sonic 3. I've uh, actually had this one for a few months now. I recently bought it at a, uh, a retro video game store. So I thought I'd uh, make a Let's Play on it. I remember so many years ago when uh, when this was still at rental places like Blockbuster Video uh, and uh, you know I, I didn't really actually get around to uh, asking my parents to buy it or anything I had I actually had Sonic 2 at the time and uh, before that I had the first Sonic the Hedgehog but um, I think my siblings like uh, decided to actually like sell it and get this out of, and uh, get Sonic 2 out of it. So um, I can't really remember much because of how long it's been, but um, I I believe that's how I got Sonic 2. I actually did one actually. Uh, buy this, but, you know, I guess my parents thought that since I already had one Sonic game that I didn't need another, which was kind of odd, but, uh, what can you do with parents? I'm already at our first Chaos Emerald. Compared to these, and like Sonic 2, this bon uh, secret stages in these are like seem to be a little easier than the ones in Sonic 2 because in Sonic 2 he had like this uh, like sort of 3D kind of thing going on and uh, it was like you were running around in like this kind of tube kind of road thing it, it's hard to explain but um you had to know by heart where like all the rings were going to be like um, where a trail of rings would start in those uh, secret stages. But with this one, as you just saw, you just like have to get all of these blue orbs and make sure not to hit them when they turn red or else uh, you get kicked out of the secret stage. And uh, what I'm doing is like getting them all from the outside and what that, what that does is turn them all into rings and uh, I learned that from like a little tip from like the uh, the Sonic and Knuckles collection uh, for the PC and they had like a little hint kind of thing in their instruction book so that's usually how I do these now I don't really mind the rings. I mean, um, this game isn't that that hard, like compared to like um, like the last one. Like the levels, you know, they do have their moments. Like especially like that uh, this sky chase zone, or uh, what do they call it? Mystic Cave, because there's like this one pit that has like a bunch of spikes and you can't even get out of it. But. But I agree with like a lot of other Sonic fans out there that the second one is like the best one. Even though with Sonic 3, you, you could like uh, attach Sonic and Knuckles to it and make the game even longer. That and it allowed you to turn into hypersonic and tails can turn into super uh, yeah super tails. So, but I only have Sonic three. I remember when this game first came out too. Blockbuster had like this little um, contest, I, I guess, to see who could like make it out of uh the first zone in this in less than a minute and uh 
I forget. Like, I, I don't even know if they had, like, a prize or anything going for it. I, I can't even remember. But, uh, that's the best that I can remember out of it. I remember when the, uh, when the Virtual Boy came out, too, they just, like, put that out on display. And, um, I don't remember if it was, like, really playable or not, like, when they had it. I think they just had it on, like, a little, um, display case kind of thing, and it was turned off. So, but, um, I assume that they had, like, uh, Mario Tennis playing with it at one point. But it, it was so long ago, and they didn't, like, keep it up for display for long, because I'm pretty sure you guys know the reason why that is. But, and I think I remember asking my parents too to get me one because, well, it did have to do with, uh, all it barely had to do with virtual reality, but that was supposed to be like the concept, but, but I think we were, we were like warned about it giving headaches only like a few months after after it'd come out, so If I had like a second player's tails, I'd I think, um, in the next zone, I, th I think it's called Hydroplane, I can't remember, but, um, I believe in the second act of that, of that zone, there's like this little secret, um, passage where, where you can, you could get like tails to help you fly up, and there's like a secret stage ring, and, um, I believe if I just keep um, going with these and just finding the secret stages as I go, that'll be like the last one. Because you can, I, I, I believe you can find like a bunch of these secret stages as you go along in the game. So they've got like, I think two for each act if you can, if you can find them really well. I'm surprised I still know like most of these as for the, like the, the uh, later stages um, yeah I haven't really found them there but I found like a couple on like that uh that little circus stage I always think I'm gonna miss like that last one because like it looks kind of like Sonic uh, nearly jumped like right over it but eh. I don't really care for the rings here If you get like 50 of them, you're supposed to get like a continue. But if you get them all, it like in and, uh, increases your overall score and you get like an extra life. Which doesn't really matter to me because this game practically throws lives at you anyway. Well, not as much as like games like Crash Bandicoot, but... You know, I, I pretty much have enough for myself to go around in the whole game anyway.
Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do a lot of like the bonus stages here. I probably will if, like, whenever I feel like it. Man, whatever computer is like controlling tails isn't even trying at all to avoid those bombs. If you have the fire shield here, you can pretty much avoid the, any kind of fire that, a, that like an enemy shoots at you, especially the bosses. And that's the end of this zone. So apparently in this game, of course it's like the debut of Knuckles, but um, in the story, like Robotnik or Eggman, as people call him now, tells Knuckles that they've invaded his island and that they're, that they want to like take all of like the Chaos Emeralds that belong on his island. Because he's supposed to be like the guardian of them all and um, this thing called the Master Emerald which um, is pretty much like the original home for him I guess. Like um, like the, the grounds of where they're kept at because they, um, they, they go back into that a bit more. And like Sonic Adventure, if you've played that. And so, um... He actually has a big role in that game as well. Because, um... This monster called Chaos... Uh... He was, uh, originally, like, encased in the Master Emerald. And then it broke... So, Knuckles had to find the pieces of the Master Emerald. And near the end of the game, Sonic turns into Super Sonic. And he pretty much, uh... Turns Chaos back into, like, a good being or something. And, uh... I believe Archie Comics did their own kind of version of that, too. And I think it was like another one of those 40 page kind of comic book specials. I can't really remember how long it was. But. You know I think they had like the. The Archie comic characters in there like Sally and. Uh, Antoine. And all those other characters that like appeared in the comic. And like that Saturday morning cartoon. find out where else I'm supposed to go. Oh, here we go. And that's the end of that one. I think we're on a roll so far. Just two more to go. Ugh. 
gonna try and spin dash and land on him. But we've already got him. Extra life, how do you like that? Sorry I'm not talking very much, folks. Um, kind of hard to bring up anything right now. So, um, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. And you guys doing anything special? I'm not really doing much myself. Pretty much gonna stay in the house, I guess, and see if I can find some job openings. I wonder why we were introduced to Valentine's Day at like such a young age. Like, I was around eight years old when we started doing this stuff, and it's all about like getting cards for like girls but I don't know like I wonder why it was even invented like maybe it was originally intended for like couples but I, I still don't understand why why we start doing this like during childhood like you can get someone like a, a like a card or a I don't know like a stuffed bear I guess but It's still hard to understand the concept at, like that at such an early point in time. Like I remember a long time ago too when they when uh they started having like a bunch of like cartoon kind of Valentine's cards and now they only have like a few of them like um they used to have like Valentine's cards of like Tiny Toon Adventures a lot of 90s cartoons that I can pretty much remember they had valentine's cards of but now they only have like a few different ones in the store like they'll have like 
Transformers and not much else. So... But I guess it depends on the store, really. And I really wish I could bounce on these things because the bonus stage is right over there. I don't remember liking this zone very much, but hopefully we can uh, whip right past it with flying colors. And here we have the electric shield, which gives you a boost in your jump. four of these things left now we just need to find it Surprised it didn't take that long. And, of course, like with Sonic 2, you, uh, you have to have 50 rings to be Super Sonic. But the downside is that your rings deplete as it goes. Ugh. So, that's one thing you gotta remember. But with Sonic 2, it was more of a problem. Because um, whenever you jumped, it automatically made him supersonic. Where if you press the jump button twice, that would trigger it. Oh, that was stupid of me. And that was stupid of me too. And I think this has to be like one of the longest zones out of this game too. Like especially the second act. That was close. Oh, three rings.
Okay, let's see where this one goes. At least I get a shield. Never mind. And with supersonic, you have more speed, but you really have to get used to, like, the control. So, you have to make, like, a lot of precision aim when you're, like, making a jump on, like, a small platform. That, and you can jump much higher. I can't really get up there unless it was tails I wish I had another shield too but hopefully there's one coming up You know what, we're gonna try a bonus stage. And this is pretty much like a, uh, a, what do you call it, uh, I guess I'm gonna say candy dispenser because I can't remember the names of these things right now. But you can get like a, a bunch of shields and like one-ups from here. Like if, if you're lucky. Hold on to that one for now. Oh, that was smart. Up for these things too, and three times, and then they'll open the door for you.
Ah, the land is starting to cave in. Trying to get out of there, Tails. I want I had the fire shield. Oh wait, no I didn't. Did I? At least when you have supersonic in this part, in this boss fight is uh, easy as pie. And you don't have to worry about him hitting you like with his drill if you uh, land your jump. Um, you know, like imprecise. And I think I'm going to wrap up this part because we're almost at 40 minutes now. So I'll see you guys in part two and hopefully that'll be the last part we have to do. See you then.